The United States Attorney General Barr recently stated that the Department of Justice would prosecute wrongdoing in the sense of a criminal act. If the wrongdoing is a violation of a criminal statute that can be proved beyond a reasonable doubt. Mr. Comey, James Comey, the former director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, was part of a cabal that attempted to overthrow the president, a coup. That is sedition, in my opinion. If the Department of Justice does not want to prosecute him for sedition, there are other crimes he can be prosecuted for. Let's look at one. It's a slam dunk, in my opinion. The August 2019 Inspector General report on James Comey clearly showed that Mr. Comey intentionally violated a United States federal criminal statute, 18 U.S.C. 641. Mr. Comey admitted doing so in testimony before the U.S. Senate, under oath. This is a case in which a federal statute was intentionally violated and admitted to by the individual violating the statute. A case that can be proved beyond a reasonable doubt. So again, the question I ask is, why has Mr. Comey not been prosecuted for this? Now listen to a video I initially published on September 2nd, 2019, asking the question again, why Mr. Comey has not been prosecuted? Hi, Americans need a clear explanation of why Mr. Comey, the former FBI director, has not been prosecuted. After the release of the recent Inspector General report concerning Mr. Comey, most of the media is celebrating Mr. Comey's luck at not being prosecuted. That is disturbing. In my opinion, Mr. Comey undermined the presidency of Mr. Trump. Justice must be meted out. If not, others within the deep state will continue to undermine the Trump presidency with impunity. Mr. Comey, after being fired as director of the FBI, converted government documents for personal use and gave them to a Columbia University law professor to leak to the New York Times. A clear violation of 18 U.S.C. 641, a federal law. You cannot convert government documents for personal use without government permission. They do not have to be classified documents in order to violate the law. Mr. Comey admitted doing so in testimony before the U.S. Senate. The Inspector General report documents Mr. Comey's clear violation of 18 U.S.C. 641. This seems to me to be a clear case that would succeed in court. All elements of the statute are satisfied. Mr. Comey knowingly converted the documents for personal use. Mr. Comey conveyed the documents to multiple third parties. Mr. Comey did not have permission from the Department of Justice to convert or convey the documents. Mr. Comey has admitted under oath the conversion and conveyance of the documents. The Inspector General report documents Mr. Comey's violations. Again, a case that, in my opinion, would succeed in court. The Department of Justice says they did not prosecute because there was insufficient evidence to obtain a conviction. That does not pass the smell test. U.S. citizens need to know exactly why Mr. Comey is not being prosecuted by the Department of Justice. Even if the prosecution only results in a fine. We also need to know why the Inspector General report did not specifically mention Mr. Comey's clear violation of 18 U.S.C. 641. Was the report scrubbed by the Department of Justice before released to the public? Without an explanation, an adequate explanation, the American people will continue to believe that a double standard of justice exists in the United States. One for the well-connected and another for those not well connected. Maybe that is what the deep state wants the nation to understand. That those in the deep state can act with impunity. That those in the deep state do not have to explain their actions. 
Well, I hope this helps. Have a good day. Well, I hope now you are asking yourself the same question. Why has Comey not been prosecuted for intentionally violating a federal statute? You or I would have been prosecuted. Well, I hope this helps. Have a good day. Thank you.